and I'm looking forward to the Berlin World Championships. That was a tough ride for Natalia Kuo. She actually was eliminated. That's a zero, uh, and so it's unfortunate. But again, she is going home with a silver medal. Yeah, that's true. I think it's like it's a it's a good experience anyway, as you said, Rob. It's like everybody comes here. We're preparing for the worlds, and then for mainly for the qualification for the European or the African or the Pan Am. So like it's an experience. This is Alice Sotero. Actually, it's Alice Sotero, uh, pulls number four, representing Italy on course. And, you know, I've seen number one come down today uh, much more than it did yesterday, although the ladies these are handling number 12, the last fence, yes. better than the men did. Yes. And this is, um, I'm seeing a few more rails here. What's the, uh, you know, that, that uh, 9, 10, 11, those two rollback turns, how tough is that to ride? Uh, right, it's, it's tricky. I think that's why, like, that uh, that was a trick in the course. And then actually, twelve two, it was very tricky because if you don't do the turn right, you will it will cost you to uh, knock the, uh, the, uh, the pull down. And that's what happened to me. Actually, I had a bad turn <laughs> and then I knocked it down. <laughs> that, so. that goes back. We were. I was mentioning that a little earlier that you have to keep. You can't. And she pulls it there. You know, and it's. With her front, with the front hooves, you know, front four legs, which means the horse is simply too close to the jump. Yeah, it doesn't have the opportunity, and it's that uh, left hand turn. And if you don't, if you let that left hand turn cave in and you cut it short, it all it brings you up too close to the fence. It doesn't ride well, so you have to keep your horse out. It's easy for me to say that since, no, I, you're since, I, since I didn't ride it. <laughs> absolutely right. You're, what you're saying is absolutely right. But I'm surprised actually with the first jump though. Like I've seen all the girls, like or not all of them, but like few, they are like knocking down the first uh, pool. So now we have representing Brazil, Priscilla Oliveira, on course now. For, for Priscilla, you know, she's tuning up for the for the Pan American Games in July, which will be the prob very likely, I would think, the most important competition of the season for Priscilla, trying to qualify for the Olympics, which will be in her own country here uh, next summer. So uh, she's got a lot of pressure on her, uh, being from the host country of the Games. But on the other hand, I'm sure she's in Rio watching the city prepare, and it's got to be very exciting. Oh, no. She's flattening out. She's got yeah. too much speed. The horse is going too fast. And by doing that, the horse flattens out like a long jumper as opposed to a high jumper. And there's the number eight. And here comes your turn. Nine, ten, eleven. One of the more difficult ones. Yeah. And when the one thing is, since we're sitting here, you know, really uh, watching this on a screen, we don't know what's happening in the warm-up arena. She may have had some stops out there where she feels like she needs a lot more speed to make sure the horse jumps. It was something we don't know because we can't see it. Uh, a. Now she gets through C okay. One fence to go. Let's see if she handles the turn. And oh, she didn't. No. Cut it close. No. The uh, fencing, which includes the fencing round robin, where all 36 athletes fence everybody else, which means 35 bouts, because you don't fence yourself. So you have 35 matches plus the bonus round. And